Guys, Craig your boy 2016 off Instagram and um, today I just thought I'd come and do a little video showing you how to do a hybrid coil. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a build, we're going to do an install, um, we're going to dive the camera down, I'm going to show you how to do a hybrid coil. The coil I'm going to be doing today is um, an alien, which a hybrid coil, what a hybrid coil is, is a coil but it's got different types of builds in one coil. So Alien, Fuse Clapton, Alien. Now two wraps will be Alien, two wraps will be Fuse Clapton, two wraps will be Alien again. There's endless possibilities to this build. Once you get good at it you can do Staggertons, into Sukas, into back to a Staggerton. You can do you can do Alien Frame Staples, you can do anything you can think of. Um, it's quite an easy concept. I'm going to show you the beginner level one today. Um, <clears throat> they're really great build, great for pictures, great to show off on Instagram, um, show all your mates how skilled you are at building this coil and um, yeah we're going to dive down, I'll show you what you need for the build first of all and then we'll dive in and we'll get cracking so sit tight. So a couple of simple things that you're going to need for this build is, of course, your wire. So today we're going to be using 28 gauge Nichrome 80 for the core, because we're going to be doing a triple core alien, going into a fuse Clapton, a triple core fuse Clapton, um, and some 36 gauge Nichrome 80. This is the beginner one that I'm going to be showing you all today. So I'm not going to make it very complicated, it's going to be quite simple. Um, and now you just need your regular things, some toothless pliers, you don't actually need them. But the help, straighten the wire and stuff like that. Some, a different style, which is the one I like to use to take the wire off the spool. Some flush cuts. These are basically essential, which these are your nylon jaw pliers, which you can grip the wire and you're not going to ruin your build. Um, later on when you're installing your coils you will need some of these to pinch and pulse, some scissors which I like to cut my wire with scissors so it's always clean and flush at the ends and essential this is basically essential for me you might be able to get away with it some other way but this is to mark a one inch on your core wire and I'll be showing you what that's all about in a little while. And a ruler, which is 100% essential, a ruler or a tape measure. As long as you can measure in inches, you should be fine. And over here, we do have our drill, which you will need. And we've got our swivels right there. So, sit tight guys. I'm going to set everything up so we can do our build. And I'll be right back. Back. So what I've gone and done is I've cut three pieces of 28 gauge wire at about 14 inches long. One piece is going to be for your initial clapton so you can make the alien and the other two pieces are going to be for your core um, and we're going to reuse this third piece for the core. Um, so what you're going to want to do is put 90 degree bends in the end just like this. I assume you all know how to make an alien by now. Um, that's not what the tutorial is about today, making aliens, so I'm going to skip through the Clapton process. Let me just put a 90 degree bend in this. Um, I'm going to skip through the Clapton process and get back when I've got the Clapton ready. So what you're going to want to do is put this in the drill and... Sorry and make yourself a clapton doesn't need to be too long 10 inches whatever really it depends how many coils you're shooting for if you're shooting for a dual coil build maybe about 10 inches so if you set that all up in your drill and your swivel like i've just set it up in my swivel this side bend it through and then bend it back around it itself like this um yeah get all this stuff out of the way Right, so what you're going to want to do now is clapton that 
piece of 28 gauge and um, once I've done that I'll jump back up I'll get back to you and I'll show you what the next steps are so sit tight guys so I'm back so what I've gone and done is I made my about 14 inches of Clapton wire and I've already decorded it and stretched it I've connected my <clears throat> triple core to the drill already and the swivel so my alien cores are connected like this and there's my three points from the alien core and I've already got my alien started about a millimetre something like that so uh, that's just to get started and now what I've gone and done is this masking tape is an inch thick so if I put it up against the ruler just like this it is it measures out at about an inch so I've gone and cut two little pieces just like this two one inch pieces and you see how they measure out on the ruler they measure out at one inch so essentially your whole wire over your two coils is going to be a total of eight inches from twelve to four and um this is on a three millimeter coil so every one inch is two wraps on a three millimeter so this first inch right here 12 to 11 is going to be alien is going to be your alien wrap on the decor and then this inch 11 to 10 is going to be your hybrid part and then 10 to 9 is going to be alien again but what you want to do is move it a little bit forward so you've got leg space. Leave it like half an inch for your legs on your coil. And then on this side, we stopped at the nine, remember? So I've left it another inch. So this is going to be your second. This is going to be your legs, half an inch for one coil's legs. And then half an inch for the other coil's legs. And then this bit's going to be your alien again for your second coil. Hybrid, alien. And then half an inch, an inch for your other coil's legs. So essentially it's going to be about 8 inch long total. So what you're going to want to do is take your masking tape. Sorry about that. Awesome camera work guys. I know it's all done with a phone, so I'm not even gonna sweat it. Um yeah. So you're gonna wanna measure it up against the core, one inch. There's let me turn this around a little bit so it's on the flat side. Measure it up against the core, so one inch, and then where that stops, that's going to be two inches. So on your second inch you want to place the masking tape and this is why you need these nylons as well and then just crimp that down and that's it. So this inch is going to be alien and then hybrid and then another inch for alien. So you can do this with the ruler as well. I just find it do it like easier to do it with um measuring it out with the masking tape. You see how that's an inch from there to there? from there to there and then that's another inch and then another inch and then you're going to leave half for your legs half for the other leg alien and then hybrid again for your second coil so if you stick your two bits of masking tape over making sure your three cores are flat the whole way you don't want them to be um like bend it different ways and stuff like that. So essentially that's going to be seven inches, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the the other alien, seven, and your legs, eight. So now we've got that done, it's just time to clap them now. <coughs> so what you're going to want to do is take your... Sorry guys, let me just sort this camera out. Take your decor and fill in this inch. Right, I'll do that now. So 
Sorry guys, it's quite tricky to do that with the camera in front of me. I did mess up a tiniest bit at the start. So what I'm going to do is slide these over forward. The tiniest bit. Tiniest bit like that. It'll still work out with an inch and an inch. Um, yeah. As long as it still works out with an inch for alien, an inch for hybrid, an inch for alien, leads, inch for alien, hybrid, inch for alien, you should be fine. So now, what we've gone and done is come up against the masking tape. So sorry about the focus, guys. Let me back out a little bit and you might be able to see a tiny bit better. Um, all you do for this bit is grab your decor, go like this, and spin the drill. It'll get caught. Go back a little bit and then do one more inch. Make sure it's all flat because it can bump up. And then what you're going to want to do is another inch. Sorry, what you're going to want to do is <clears throat> alien all the way to this wrap right here. Because this is coil, legs, coil. So alien all the way to the next bit of masking tape. Sorry about the focus guys. Getting snagged on something. I've done a long decor so I got snagged there. So essentially, the only part what's going to be different is where the masking tape is. <coughs> That's going to be the middle of your coil, the middle two wraps. So whatever you choose it to be. And then go over the top of the masking tape again. And then alien this part. Make sure you flatten it because it can start to triangulate. And then go for one more inch. Doesn't matter if you get this bit longer than an inch. Jammed again, caught up on something. Actually, that should be fine. I've got the camera in front of me, so it's quite tricky to do. So I'm going to cut the excess bit of alien off, just like that. And then what's left on the decor, you can essentially keep for your next hybrid. <laughs> so I'll be placing that there for now. Now here comes the fun part. <coughs> it's not very hard to do this part. So what you can do now is take your masking tape off. Um, and where you've got the alien what comes... Can I zoom in? See that alien, the bit what bumps over? You're going to want to remove that bit. So turn it around until you get to the flat part and then butt up against it with your cutters and snip just like that. Don't worry because um, you can hide the bad part once you coil it up. If there's any bit sticking out you can hide that. So you see now how there's just an open piece of it, um, wire. Now what you're going to want to do is the exact same with this part. And sometimes you might have to cut the alien part before you take the masking tape off. <clears throat> so now cut this part. And then cut this part. And now we've got alien. 
Sorry about the focus, guys. Please bear with me. I'm sorry. Now you've got alien core, alien core, alien. So what I'm going to do now is, I did say I was going to do a fuse Clapton section, but um, to be honest, it looks better if you use ribbon wire. It really does look nice if you use some ribbon wire for this part. So I'm going to open my ribbon wire. And I'm just going to do a ribbon wrap for the hybrid. Um, so getting it connected this part, all you have to do is take whatever wire you're going to be using for the hybrid portion and do a wrap around the alien part like this. You can always remove it later. And just wrap it around the core a couple of times and see how it's stuck now. And then you have to be careful with this bit because you can triangulate your three cores. So do about five loops. Take your nylons, give it a press, and just continue that till you've finished it. This bit can be a bit trickier because um, cause it's not like gripping your cores like a normal alien wrap does. It does like to flatten your cores. But no worries. Well, builders over here, we can get it done. This might take a little moment. Because the typical alien likes to bend on you. And with a camera in front of my face, it's not the easiest thing to do. Sorry guys, I'm going to put the camera just to the side of me for one moment. Probably a better shot anyway. I just got my, I just got the cam the camera on a tripod, so please bear with me. It's like the most stable tripod in the world. Um, please don't leave or nothing. There we go. So let me just clap in this part. Right, I'm going to remove that quickly. Grab a new section of ribbon. I'm so sorry about this. A little ball on the bottom of my tripod has came off. That's why my tripod's not stable. Right, start again. Start again. <clears throat> I'm making this look so much harder than it is. Um. Let me grip that over there. And then Clapton with the ribbon squash so it's all nice and flat and then Clapton the rest squash. Clapton, squash, Clapton. Make sure we cause a flat because that would be bad and it'd look bad. Clapton squash. Right, clapped in and when you get to the end just stop. And we just squash all this down so it's all flat with the alien. And then you can cut. 
Hey guys, and for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and do coil number two, so the video's not too long. I'll be right back. Finish that up, and um, I've took it off the drill now, cut the end. So what I've gone and done is, the bit what we tied on, the ribbon bit, the ribbon wire, is all I've done was backed it off, and then cut it flush with the alien portion. Um, if you can, try and do it so there's no little gap. It doesn't really matter, because that little gap will be on the bottom. And then all I've done is just took my nylons and flattened it all, all the ribbon part anyway, so it's nice and flat. We can sort that out in a bit. Don't worry if it's looking a little bit scruffy for now. So now what we're going to need is a coil jig. I've got my UD coil jig, and it has to be a 3mm. So I'll take the 3mm, let me just have a quick vape. I'm going to take the 3mm um, jig bit and I'm going to take the coil I'm going to put a little bend in the end with this coil jig and we're going to do 6 wraps 2 for each alien portion and 2 for the middle so just grab it, sorry about the focus guys I'm trying to I'll try and manual focus here. There we go. So one, two, and then hopefully that little nick bit should be on the bottom. And then it's two wraps in the middle. One, two. And we can sort that out in a minute. One, two. And what you want to do is go past the little bit and then back this bit off a little bit so what we're essentially aiming for is to have the top part like that looking super clean oh, my alien's a little bit gappy there but that does not matter for this tutorial and then the bottom part can be as gappy and as horrible as you like it um, because that bit and the side bit is going to look lovely you might be able to get it better than me you probably will be able to get it better than me this is just to show you it um, and then I'm going to bend my legs round so they're on the same angle and then I'm going to clip it don't clip too much legs because you have to make way for your second coil, remember. And then clip it again. So we have got one coil done. And then exact same with the second piece of wire. Little bend. Six wraps and a three millimeter. So there's one, two. Three, four, five, six. Go slightly past it, like slightly past it, like that. so. Essentially, seven wraps, and then go back a little bit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I went too far. Oops. Slightly too far doing it on the camera, but that does not matter. So I can just back it straight back off. Um, so now we have got our second coil right there. Focus, please. Samsung Galaxy is ish. Shocking. Like, this one's not very clean, but I'm not too fussed at the minute. Because, um,. You can clean them up. And I, I am going to click on camera just to show everyone anyway. So now let me just sort these. You can obviously spend a bit more time on it than I did. Clip them legs and there we go. It's not too bad.
Actually, I'll go. I'll put the macro lens on, and I'll show you one I did earlier today as well. The one I did earlier today is nice and clean. So the ones that I've just done is these ones. There's the second guy, which looks a lot cleaner. Now imagine getting some nice pictures of that on Instagram. I mean, the one I did earlier is essentially the same thing, but with a piece of ribbon wire clapped in first. 0.4 ribbon wire clapped in 40 gauge. Nice and clean, aren't they? So, them two aren't bad, apart from that little spacing issue I got, which is really bugging me. <laughs> but um, if you look underneath, that's what it looks like. It's a little bit iffy, that's why I'm saying it's not clean, but you can do a better job than I did. A little silver vape nice on the inside, the bit what touches your cotton. Looks good. So, they'll still vape nice, these ones. I might install, might not, they might go in my drawer. Um, yeah, guys, I'm not going to install them right now. I'm, um, I'm going to jump up and have a quick vape and let you know what I feel about them, stuff like that. So sit tight, I'll be right back. That was the hybrid coil. Um, thanks for watching my little um, build tutorial on these. They're really fun to make. There's millions of variant, millions, thousands, hundreds of variations. Um, if you can get the technique down. I, I had a big camera in front, well, phone and a tripod in front of my drill. That's what made it a little bit more difficult for me. Otherwise, it would have been a lot cleaner. The ones I made earlier on are super clean. When I had no tripod in front of my face. But um, all the same, you can... There's a lot of different variations to this build and it's a very, very, very impressive build if you want to go and show your friends. Just remember, one inch of wire equals two wraps on a three millimeter bit, screwdriver, whatever. So, um, yeah, I hope you can go out and press people, show some pictures if you've not done it before. Um, if you do end up making some and this video helped you out then tag me on Instagram tag me in the pictures I'll leave you a like I'll sub to you follow you sorry um, yeah very intrigued to see it's obviously not my creation um, someone showed me a technique and I followed the technique so yeah if you do make one though make sure to tag me on Instagram my handle is at Craig yeah boy 2016 so I'm looking forward to seeing them all from you. Definitely. And uh if you do these ones, they'll probably all mount to about 0.18 on a dual coil with the 28 gauge. You can do them with different variations of wire, 27 gauge, 26 gauge if you want a lower build. Um you don't have to do six wraps, you can do four wraps, you can take the end two off and then it'll be alien, two wraps in the middle, one wrap on the outside. So it'll be a four wrap coil and that'll probably all out to about a point one two. Uh maybe, maybe, I'm not too sure. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little build tutorial guys. I'm just getting into these slowly again. I haven't posted one in a while, I need to get myself a new phone. The focus is shocking, I know, I'm really sorry about that. Anyway guys, hope you all enjoyed. And uh, I'll catch you later with another video. If, you, if you've if got comments, leave them in the description. The description. The comment box, if you've got any suggestions on what I can build next. What you want to see. If there's anything what's troubling you. And you, you just cannot get away with it. Like if you cannot do a build and you really want to do it, drop a comment in the comment box down below and I'll, I'll try and get back to you, I'll try and make a video if I can do the build, if it's not something crazy. Um, anyway guys, like, comment, subscribe and I'm out. Laters.